Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a differential equation. We have dy over dx equals tangent x plus y, and we're going to be solving for y. Hopefully, we're going to be able to find an expression for y, right? And I'll be presenting three methods, maybe. One of them, I'll just briefly mention it. And let's start with the first one. But before we get to the first method, we're going to be doing something that will, will basically apply to the whole problem. And that's going to be substitution. Let's go ahead and set x plus y equal to z. And that basically means x plus y equals z. And then from here, obviously, we want to differentiate both sides with respect to x. The derivative of x is 1. The derivative of y is y prime. And this is z prime. Now, by y prime and z prime, I mean dy over dx and dz over dx. We could also write our equation that way, right? So basically, this notation is more clear, but sometimes for brevity purposes, we just avoid it. So from here, we can basically isolate y prime or dy over dx and write it as dz over dx minus 1, right? And in our expression, we do have dy over dx. Let's replace it with dz over dx minus 1. And on the right-hand side, we have tangent x plus y, which turns into tangent z. Awesome. Now, our new variable is z, and notice that we don't have y anymore. Everything is in terms of z and x. Let's add 1 to both sides. So we kind of have to find a function whose derivative is equal to 1 plus tangent of that same function. It's kind of hard to find uh, just by guessing, obviously. And you'll notice at the end why it will be hard to guess this. But let's go ahead and separate the variables. This is a separable differential equation. I know some people are going to find it very easy. dz, easy dz, divide by 1 plus tangent z equals dx. Obviously, the right-hand side is super nice because we can just integrate it and we get x plus c from there. But on the left-hand side, we're going to have some complications. And that's where the three methods comes in. Okay? How do you integrate 1 over 1 plus tangent z or dz over 1 plus tangent z? Right? So let's take a look. First method. We have 1 over 1 plus tangent z. I'm going to write it as 1 over 1 plus sine z over cosine z. And that can turn into cosine z over cosine z plus sine z. This is not something we're going to use with the first method, but I just want to write it, put it aside, and then we'll use it later. With the first method, we want to focus on this. Can I just integrate this directly? And yes, there's a way to do it. We can try wire stress substitution which is basically for uh, rational functions of sine and cosine. We can set t equals tangent z over 2, which is the half angle or double angle formula. And then from here, tangent z just becomes 2 times z over 2, 2t two over 1 minus t squared from double angle formula, tangent 2 theta, where theta is z over 2, so this becomes 2 theta. Make sense? Okay. So that's how you can convert tangent z or write it in terms of t. And of course, by our assumption, z over 2 is going to be arc tangent of t, which is obviously the tan inverse, right? And from here, z becomes 2 times arc tangent of t. If you differentiate both sides to find dz, you're going to get dz equals 2 times the derivative of arc tangent t, which is 1 over 1 plus t squared, but we do need a dt over 1 plus t squared. So now we got dz, and we know what tangent z is in terms of t, and we can go ahead and plug everything in. And that gives us the following. dz over 1 plus tangent z equals 2 dt over 1 plus t squared, divided by 1 plus 2t over 1 minus t squared, because that's what tangent z is. Now our function is, or integral, is with dt, 
And how do you integrate something like this? This is quite complicated, don't you think? But you can kind of make a common denominator and you'll get some rational function, which you could probably separate using partial fractions. But guess what? I have a better idea. Let's proceed with that. And that's called the second method. Okay. For, so here's our, how our second method works. Remember, with the first method I told you, I can turn this into cosine z over cosine z plus sine z dz. We wrote tangent as sine over cosine, and then we made a common denominator, so on and so forth, right? Remember that? Okay, now this is what we used. Now, how do you proceed with that? One thing to keep in mind, this is a really, really cool trick. Notice that the denominator contains cosine. And we can kind of do this. Write the denominator in the numerator. I hope that makes sense. I mean this. Now notice that this is the same thing as the denominator. And then think about the derivative of the denominator. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. The derivative of sine is cosine. So the derivative of this expression is, if I call this f, f prime is just going to be negative sine z plus cosine z or cosine z minus sine z. So that's what I'm going to add to this expression. Now I'm going to divide it by the same denominator because my goal is to separate this into something meaningful. But guess what? When I do this, I can't just do it, right? Because that gives me two Oops, that gives me two cosine z in the numerator because cosine z plus cosine z. But I originally had one cosine z, right? This is one cosine z, but now I have two. Don't worry, we can just make up for that by using a one half on the outside. Make sense? Okay, this is a really cool trick. And now this allows you, or of course, sine z cancels out and we get this. So in the end, this is the same as this one, right? But guess what? We're actually going to not cancel it because we are going to separate it. I just wanted to show you, yes, they do cancel out, but you can also forget about it. So here's what, how we're going to separate it. This is going to be 1, right, plus, and that's going to be cosine z minus sine z divided by cosine z plus sine z. And the whole thing is dz. So I could probably do this, put a dz here and put a dz here and separate them into two integrals. Awesome. So it's going to be the sum of two integrals, and there's going to be a one-half all the way on the outside. Awesome. We can just integrate these two things now. The integral of dz is just z. And this one is actually u substitution, because if you call this u, this is going to be du. Remember, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. The derivative of sine is cosine. So we have the derivative of the denominator in the numerator. Make sense? So it's kind of like this, u prime over u. But u prime we write as something dz, right? Anyways, hopefully you get the idea. And now we can go ahead and write this as z plus. Now what am I getting here? du over u, right? The integral of du over u is ln, ln of u, but u is cosine z plus sine z. I'm just avoiding the absolute value. You can use it. Uh, anyways, so that should be the answer, right? Let's put the one half on the outside and do not forget to put a constant. Wait a minute. We have something else on the right hand side, which is the integral of dx, which is x plus c. So we don't need a constant twice. This is x plus c. And now we have to back substitute. What is z? z is x plus y. So we're going to write it as one half of x plus y plus ln cosine of x plus y plus sine of x plus y. You have to ln the sum and then add x plus y to it and then one, multiply the whole thing by one half equals x plus c. I don't think you can solve for y, but that should be the answer, right? And let's go ahead and check with Wolfram Alpha and yay, we get the same answer. Good job. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.